Uh, hello mate, it is uh, Thursday, September 3rd. Um, yeah, last Sunday, Thursday vlog was um, not uploaded because of the slow internet. Um, I mean, the download speed wasn't that bad, but the upload speed, well, it would take me two hours, and I only had like an hour and a bit spare, so I wasn't even bothered. Wasn't even bothering. Um, and this vlog was actually close to not happening because I thought I left my camera in Spain. Luckily though, obviously I haven't. Um, yeah, I accept my punishment. Um, don't know what it's going to be, but I accept the punishment either way. I mean, it sucks and all, but I didn't upload one on Friday. I didn't even record one on Friday, so I suppose it all balances itself out at the end. And the other punishment as well for not uploading on Saturday. And because you actually could have uploaded on Saturday, um, the festival wasn't exactly imperative. And I mean, you said about the speaking part. Um, I mean, yeah, you didn't say it was, but I did say you needed to speak more than anyone else in the vlog. Um, and singing technically counts as speaking, so I don't know. Oh, I'll leave that. I'll leave that free of punishment. But you still have a punishment for Saturday, so we both have punishments. Yay! For the second time, we both have a punishment. Ah, uh, it's gonna be fun, isn't it? So I basically have not even had time to think of your punishment because this week has just been so action-packed. Um, Monday, um, I actually just talk through my whole, entire holiday. Why not? Um, really, I've just been seeing old family and friends and all. Um, and, yeah, uh, we, Benidorm Palace, um, on Saturday, which is such a show, uh, amazing Spanish show, um, I mean, it was amazing, it's basically, uh, the Thriller Reading Festival, but indoors, with as much coke as you can drink, and as much, um, entertainment as you can get like it was all different kinds not just music it was there was a comedian there was magicians there were it's not a stand-up comedian it's a physical comedian like it didn't have any language so yeah that was fun Benidorm Palace show on Monday I was actually swimming with dolphins now I've got footage but I can't be asked to edit like I'm really cannot be asked to edit a lot of footage right now because I've just got well I've not just got back but um, don't really, I'm not in the mood for doing a lot of editing, so I'm going to put footage of my dolphin some, um, in my Sunday vlog. Um, hopefully I remember. Um, but yeah, I that was really, really fun. Um, just it's amazing just having a dolphin swimming next to you and uh, jumping over you and swimming past you. and It's just amazing. It's just amazing. So as day, today I came back, like it's today I came back and... Yeah, I had the interview for uh, that Waitrose job that I talked about in my last uh, real vlog. So yeah, I arrived back in England about three. Took me about an hour to get into the car, um, to get the car back and everything. That's four. Took about an hour and a half to get back from Luton. So that's um, half five. And my interview was at seven. So yeah, but um, good news. I have actually got the job. Yay! Oh, I've got a Saturday job. Holy crap, that's good. Um, I mean, it's just really... I've just basically pentupled my income from chore and pocket money. Um, so, entering the real world. I've got, I've got a few ideas for your punishment. Uh, none of which are set in stone, but the one that I'm kind of sorted out what it is but not you're not doing it like one I've kind of an idea I've got is um, being in an um, freezing cold shower um, reading something I don't know what but yeah in a freezing cold shower but yeah you have to do one for me as well um, I've just got to say for my punishment I don't want it to be another eating punishment because I've done enough eating punishments and yeah I don't really want another one because they're just getting boring so can you please give me a, another one specifically um, like humiliation punishment I don't really want to humiliate myself but uh, it'll be fun for you 
And the last little footnote is that I actually am planning to upload a video to my main channel explaining what I'm going to do in the near future to my channel. Um, just to make sure you know, within the next few days I'm going to upload that video and it's going to be like the be all and end all if I try it really. I'm going to explain a lot of things, there could be a lot of changes around my channel and it's going to hopefully start up again. Okay, so yeah. Uh, it's my review now. Woot woot. Um, so, you may notice I'm not in front of the green screen, and that's because I just can't be asked for any complicated editing. Like, I just generally can't. Like, I really just got back, um, technically, and had the interview as well, and oh, it's taken out of me. I can't do editing, like, a lot of it. So, I was going to review uh, Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists like this. And four minutes go. Pirates and Adventure Scientist is a Ardman 2012 stop motion movie, and as you know, I love stop motion, and I think this movie deserves a lot more praise than it actually gets. In fact, I actually not even seen a review of it yet, but from my own personal experience, it's a it's aimed at kids. Like if the, look at the general basis of it; it's aimed at kids. But I think look at this, look at the references, look at the characters. They're really aimed for like, f I'm not sure what age group, but really the people who grew up in like the early 90s. So many references in it, and it is like, um, with Armin's early work, like Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run, they were a bit more reserved with their humour, but with the newer Wallace and Gromit, and obviously Pirates, they've added in a lot more comedy, and this movie is, is it's not laugh out loud hilarious, but it is, it is pretty funny. It stars Hugh Grant as a pirate. He um, wants to be the best pirate in the land, so he ends up um, capturing ships, and one of them happens to belong to Charles Darwin, who's voiced by David Tennant. Um, I actually didn't notice at first, but later on I read who's David Tennant. And then they end up becoming kind of friends, and then David Tennant's character, Charles Darwin, discovers that um, Hugh Grant's pirates, uh, parrot is actually a dodo, so like they go into a science fair and then Hugh Grant ends up winning it. Um, but then, um, he, because he's an enemy of Queen Victoria, he then ends up um, having a dodo sent over to Queen Victoria and Queen Victoria ends up pardoning him, which means he gets sent out the pirate, so it all ends badly for him. But he ends up getting back into the Pirates Guild and everything, and it's a general happy ending. It's a real feel-good movie, you know, it's one of those movies you could just watch in any mood, and... You may say, it is aimed at kids. It is. But it's got enough in it for, like, our age group, and... It's very watchable. It's one of those, like, Shrek-like movies, Toy Story, which... Like, you can... They're just, they're just decent movies. The stop motion is really good in it. It's, um... Plasticine, and... The textures with the hair and everything, and the water, just it just looks so good. Um, saw it in the cinema, and it was just, oh my god, that stop motion, it, it was just so good. It's probably the best stop motion I've ever seen. The characters are really good as well. I don't think there's a single weak character in the whole movie. I think a few of the other pirates, like the villain pirates, are a little bit weak, but they only appear for like a few minutes each. It doesn't really matter. The main characters are all pretty good. Psychic to you, Grant's all pretty good as well. Queen Victoria is a great villain. It's an orthodox villain, but it's a great villain. There are a few bad points. In it. The, the, like It's a bit short. The movie in, in itself is a bit short. I think a few parts of the team are a little bit crude. They cut out a scene of them having like them invade a leprosy ship. Um, it was in the trailer, but not in the action movie. Um, so it's a bit controversial. And I'm not one for offensive humour, but... Other than that, I, th I think it's actually a really underrated movie. I'd say, if you like movies like Shrek or Toy Story, watch it. Or, well, and Gromit, or Chicken Run, or Flushed Away, or, or Trying With Their Other Ones. They made a lot of movies, but I think this one probably is one of their best. So, I've got to say, actually, I'm going to rate it higher than I probably would have. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I just can't find a lot to complain about in it. Um, just 9 out of 10 feels good for it. My chair feels really, really creaky. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, that probably wraps up the vlog. Matt, I will see you on Sunday. And it's your vlog tomorrow.
See you then.